I'm about to show you yet another video that was kind of uncovered. And, uh, of course, it's, refer it's pertaining to the elf himself. Look, <laughs> 2020 didn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> 2021 doesn't make sense either. Pandemic hits. And there's some things that basic people knew about. Let's say immunology, virology. And it went out the window almost immediately. People that are experts in this field, maybe working for the government, but they're experts, right? They all of a sudden started taking positions that were antithetical to everything they had known up until that point. Now, was it because the virus was that different? No, it didn't. It wasn't. It, it, it wasn't that different to the point to where people just abandoned everything that they knew and they learned. I my argument is that there's there's a political slant there and a lot of people had a lot to gain with this pandemic um, existing in the way that it did. Pharmaceutical co pharmaceutical companies, power hungry politicians and government workers, people that had the spotlight on them that never had it. I think Fauci is a sociopath or rather a psychopath. I do believe that he is one of those that maybe narcissists just really bask in the idea of him getting attention. Uh, he's been around forever, but he was glorified this past uh, year in a way that he has never been. You get in the first pitch of these uh, baseball games. You have, I don't know, uh, he's on top of all the magazines. All the celebrities are fawning over him. They even called the damn vaccine a Fauci ouchy. Like these guys... He, I believe he's basking in this. Once this pandemic decides or the people decide that it's over, he go faced black. He's out of there and he knows that. I'm about to show y'all something that is uh, a video of Fauci talking about viruses. And I'm going to give you my give you my thoughts here in a little bit. But the human body and, and, and how it responds. And uh, when we talk about infectious diseases, I'm going to show you this. This is from. Uh, 2019, so two years ago, right before the pandemic. Let's listen to what Fauci um, had to say. And the best way for me to prevent getting an infectious disease and having to have you as my doctor is what? Um, wearing a mask. No, um, no, no. no. Don't need to do that. <laughs> you, um, if somebody's, I can see they're getting ready to sneeze or cough, you, walk away. You avoid all the paranoid aspects and okay. do something positive. Okay. So notice how when he soon as he brought up the max thing, and this isn't necessarily new, Fauci was not one of these guys that were like Uber mask everywhere to stop infectious diseases. Even at the beginning of the pandemic, he said that you shouldn't be doing it uh, because it's giving you this false sense of security. You touch your face more. There's also other stuff that he was talking about back in February where he would say that like uh, people that were like, uh, like what they deem as asymptomatic were not, ever usually uh, like uh, spreaders or rather people that were really the driving force for a pandemic. Right. But you see how he immediately corrects. I'm like, no, no, no. All that's paranoia bullshit. Right. You need to take care of your body. Let's listen to what else he says. A good diet. B you don't smoke. I know. I know you don't drink at least not very much. So that's pretty good. Get some exercise. I know that you don't get as much exercise as yes, you should. That's correct. Get good sleep. I think the, the normal, low-tech, healthy things okay. are the best thing that you can do, David, is stay All healthy. Right. Well, and okay, so he asked a question about infectious disease. Fauci says what I and guys like myself have been saying through this entire thing about health and really infectious diseases, but especially with this, when you are dealing with the respiratory illnesses, the best way that you can deal with that is taking care of your body, right? So what you consume, your diet, and of course, exercising, keeping your body mass uh, uh, down, uh, main, maintaining a shape, not being obese. What Fauci said isn't necessarily incorrect. I mean, we were most for the most part, people that are watching this would agree with them. The question becomes, why did he switch the fuck up? And now it's about, well, you got to get a jab, right? It's about the paranoia. It's about covering your face. Oh, you see someone cough. Oh, my God. Like, that's more so what it is now. But Fauci, even two years ago, was like, no, that's we don't worry about that. Back when the world was some sort of uh, normal, 
in this regards, maybe not in others, but especially in this regards, taking care of your body, it was a no brainer. Then the pandemic hits and hits America. And he ups and switches on everything. And uh, there's uh, public health experts up and switch. And now it's don't move. Stay in a bubble. Put a diaper on your face. Which is kind of antithetical to what it is that he was saying. Especially when we got news of what the virus and who the virus was impacting. He mentions smoking and he mentions things like that. These comorbidities uh, that some people have. This is part. This is exactly what we know about COVID. That's who it impacts the most. When you have in, uh, in areas like it was at one point it was like 78 percent of the hospitalizations were people that were obese in America. You know, it, it's almost as if that's an important thing. But the public health health experts never led a charge of encouraging people to work out. This was my frustration. And this is why I'd say this has nothing to do with health. None of these guys, the blue check marks, none of the the guys that were like the infectious disease experts, all the people who care so much about their hum, fellow human beings. It was only guys that were more so on our side of this that were saying, hey, you need to get the fuck up and start moving around. Right. You need to get up and start moving around. They said the complete up. Hell, they shut down your gyms. The first thing to go was the gyms. The first thing to go, they said, stop working out, stop moving around. They did not encourage you. There was no leading campaign by uh, the the public health experts that were encouraging people to get around and start moving. That never happened. It was always putting a Band-Aid on things. So you, you can't move. Don't move. So all the social distance stuff, don't move. Stay in your house. Get everything delivered. Don't move around. That's what they encourage you to do. And more importantly, they never encouraged you, which would have cost them nothing, by the way, to just say, you know what? This is something that you guys, you see that there's a there's an illness out there that is impacting people that are not in the best shape of their lives. Um, the worst. Right. Those are the people that are generally struggling with this. This is a great time to start paying attention to what it is that you're consuming. This is a great time to start paying attention to uh, your, your 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 body working out, exercising. But that's not what they did. They did it before. Fauci himself did it before. But then all of a sudden, March hits and it's it goes out the window. It's because this has nothing to do with health. I wanted to show that. That was someone un uncovered that and posted that. And I myself wanted to make sure that I showed you guys that as well. Because when I saw it, I was like, wow, there's so many videos of him prior to, like at the very, very beginning of the pandemic, like right before it hit America uh, really hard. And before that, of him saying things that we would agree with. But it's like he is, he's on some other stuff. And I think it, it more so has to do with uh, what he has to gain, right? You just watched a clip from my podcast for Canon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.